Today, I got something real fun to show you guys. Thanks to Chiss over at the modding community, we have the monkey airship with the Paragon, the balloon radicator. Now, here's just a little glimpse of what it looks like, but you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out each of the fifth tiers and what this Paragon can do. I really enjoy cubism. It's one of my favorite maps. So let's give it a try there on Impoppable, of course, because we got to add some, some danger and craziness to these modded challenges. And this guy starts off at a reasonable price of only 1090. We can afford that pretty soon here, but it's a million dollars for the balloon radicator. So you guys know the drill of what we got to do to get going. I accidentally had monkey knowledge turned off there for a second, and you never really, you take monkey knowledge for granted. And then when it's not there, you're like, seriously, that's how much money I had? Is there any of you still out there that do not have all of your monkey knowledge? And if you don't, what are you waiting for? You just got to play the game. Like, I think I'm only at like 3,000 hours. I think it took. <laughs> it didn't take 3,000 hours. That's just where I'm at currently. I think I did it in like, what, 500 or something like that. But we can now place our Benjamin on round nine. And we probably should buy some other stuff here too. Because uh, this guy's going to start lagging here for a second. Watch us lose on cubism. Oh, we died. You guys ever get so excited to try a new tower that you totally forget game mechanics and you lose really early? <laughs> well, if you don't, I definitely do enough for everybody. But with just a simple little attack shooter, we're more than good to to go here cubism and the tax shooter are just the synergy that nobody asked for but everybody wanted is that how that saying goes now honestly doing this on impossible and trying to get that much money might have been the sillier idea to go about but just by the looks of that tower i feel like it's gonna shred i know nothing about it, it literally just popped up on the the modding discord and i am trying it for the first time and i'm really excited to see it but it looks like it's gonna be crazy strong one of the reasons i love cubism so much well my main reason is because it's just all straight lines there's no curves which is a very very cool thing for me the other reason being is that there's just so much room to farm so you can really just go wild with your ideas on how you want to make your money so for this we're gonna do like a little mixture here because i just feel kind of guilty spending any money on attack towers we're gonna to be using the boat to our advantage actually using it to pop camo and lead while also making us money with that merchant man you can't go wrong and with so many different points to attack on this map pretty much anything you go with will be okay so here's our first moab and luckily we don't have to sell and do all that stuff i was getting ready like it was a boss battle i was like okay we're gonna have to sell everything on 39 to make sure we have enough popping power here for the balloon areas whatever but no in this case we can just keep rolling and honestly because of ben's little trojan ability everything that we have is more than enough to take these things down and i'm just gonna start spamming these monies now i know you guys really really want to see what this balloon can do but i want to bring him out in his best phase possible right like i don't want to bring him out and we don't have enough to destroy and make that money and then we're just like oh no he's not doing that well no we're gonna make him do amazing by just having so much money that it doesn't even matter and in doing so i've learned my limits that i'm really bad at placing towers like honestly there should be able to put four or five of these boats and i got three whoop de do but i think we can fit a lot more down here although this just isn't the greatest spot to like actually pop stuff i mean those guys get a little bit of hits which is cool but we're doing pretty well i mean as long as we have a good enough to fence by round 63 but that's where we're gonna bring in our new buddy the monkey airship it's just a really cool design to use a moab to like be a part of balloons like we're fighting balloons with balloons it's kind of rude right it's like a pig eating bacon i feel like but it still works you know it'll get the job done that's all we really care about all right i think we're at a point in our lives where we can bring out this airship of doom and help him out a little bit our first one is going to be bloontonium darts bloontonium tip darts increase damage faster firing and powerful darts. Well, of course, we got to go with Bluntonium darts. It just sounds awesome. And then Mobile Reconnaissance. <laughs> mobile Recon. Mobile Reckons. Mobile Recon allows Monkey Airship to pop and reveal camo. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure if we need that, but we're going to have to get. We, let's just get it. We need it for sure. Drops bombs on nearby balloons and stuns them temporarily. Okay, so it's kind of like a heli pilot middle path. But for this one, I'm going to go with powerful darts and improved engines, which allows Monkey Airship to be more maneuverable. So he's going to go around a little faster. And then Light Carrier for only 25 he launches an escort of fighter planes. There we go. So we get fighter planes, but for only $2,500, you can't beat it. Now with all my necessary amount of banana farms that I have here, I think it's about eight or nine of them. We need to add a little bit more doom to our airship right here. And I think we'll place this one eh, just right next to it. Actually, no here, because we're going to have to need a village, huh? So we'll place this one here. We're going to go middle path in this. Faster firing, twin guns, Gatling laser adds another machine gun that fires lasers. Okay, that's pretty cool. And we can actually make him do infinite figure or figure eight. Let's go with figure eight on this one and leave this one on a little mini circle. Oh, that's cool. It just focuses just in that area. That would be really good for that top path bomb one because then you can keep it in that same area wrecking everything in its path. But for, for now, I'm going to get rid of my tacky. I think this is pretty good. 
but do we want increases damage or darts gain more popping power? I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not, very, I'm never good with that math stuff of this game, but I think these are cool. And that looks like a DDT. So that's wrecking it right there. And I really like the color schemes. It's like gray with the green is really cool looking. So let's see what our Moabs can do against the BFB. And so far this guy is shooting out some rockets. Where's my laser guys? He, oh, there he is. He's literally shooting out lasers. Is this going to be enough? Yes, it should. Okay, so they have great Moab popping power. We just got to focus a little bit more on their balloon popping power. And as you can see on the bottom right here behind my giant head, we have finished this thing up with like a ton of pools. Look at this. All this thing's filled up. So we are good to go on that front. I, I don't think I'm going to upgrade those that much anymore. But I think we're going to need our other balloon tonium thingy. We're going to go with all the way bottom path. We already did the bottom path. Let's go top path. We'll get the 25 bomber. So, okay, we, we just need to breathe. I just saw so much there. I started panicking. But we need to keep this guy right here in the circle. I want to put him like somewhere where he can just keep attacking over and over. So how about right there? That seems like a good spot. I was going to say, let's go for the bottom path to give him that tight circle, which I think we should do actually. Yeah, we'll do that. So he just keeps sitting in this area over and over and over. That's going to be pretty awesome. It's wrecking through 63. Like it looks like it's going to be too much, but I think those bombers are really, really, really strong. Unless we just die right now. Are they going to take him out? Dude, that was the like the tip of the iceberg. That was scary for sure. And I totally forgot. I'm sitting here. We have the... I have the third tier mod. I have unlimited fifth tiers. We could have just done this the whole time. Like unlimited cross pathing. So we could have just got these bottom ones. I've been making way more money. We don't need to screw around with this. Now our next upgrade is going to be $7,000 for heavy bomber, $13,000 for carrier airship, and $33,000 for laser array. So I think we're obviously going to go in path here and go for $7,000, which upgrade bombs have a deal more damage and weaken nearby balloons. Look at that thing. It's literally a radioactive BFB. I don't think anything can get through that. Like, look at, look at, right when he goes over it, it just shreds it. That's what we're talking about there. Our next upgrade is going to be 13,000, right? And that's carrier airship now with new and improved fighters. There we go. Dude, these color schemes are rocking. I really, really like these color schemes. Why don't I always use these farms when I mod? That would make more sense because then we don't have to sit there and stress about money. We could just literally rock through it like this. That's what I'm talking about. Now we got Banana Central and we can really test what these guys are going to do. And just a few short moments, we should have enough for Laser Array, which adds a powerful new beam attack that targets the strongest balloon on the screen. Okay. I'm, look at it. It literally is. It's literally like the new Sentry Gun laser beam just following you around and destroying everything and it has an entire range look it goes across the entire map that is so cool just wait till we buff these things this is gonna get ridiculous and here's that big bad rush on round 78 and it i mean where is it oh no there it is there it is and purple guy just took it out for the most part Heck yes. So let's give them a little bit of help in case some of them can't see camo. And we'll also get them some jungle drums here. They are military, so they're not going to benefit from primary training though. And now with our oodles of money, let's try these guys out. We got the Ravager. Powerful fighters deal massive damage and can stun Moab class balloons. Oh my goodness. We're sitting, we're fighting ZOMGs. And I love these skins. This is so cool. Really, really cool design schemes, Chiss. This thing is... This is awesome. And while we're at it, let's just grab the Devastator for $46,000. Improved bomb stun and weaken all balloons and rays, including Moab class balloons. Look at these things. They're all so different and cool. Oh, look what it's doing, though. It's literally sending out Navark of the Sea planes. It's just sending out straight crazy planes. Dude, nothing's going to get by this. All right, we're going to do something here. We're going to get the Annihilator for $210,000. Look at that. It looks like a Tron balloon. That is crazy. And because these things are going to go on forever, I think we should just try him out on his own. Look at this guy go. Literally on his own. All he has is a village. I'm not even going to alk buff these guys. We don't even need to. And we have more money than we need to get that Paragon. So I cannot wait to see what happens here. Let's just get going on our future. Let's take this guy and we'll get him up to round 100 on his own. Let's see if he can take round 100 on his own. It it looks like he's going to no problem and we could oh my gosh he has an ability oh we got to test this ability out heck yeah let's go all the way up to 120 i think that'll be pretty cool 120 should be enough and if we need to we can buy another fifth here but i want to see what this guy can do we're going to blast this ability right now you guys ready oh it just shoots even bigger like oh my goodness this is going to break our game 100 percent look how much money we're getting because we're racing it too we're going so far up this is insane Mind you, we only have one of... This isn't the Paragon, guys. This is not the Paragon. This is one fifth tier middle path. That's how crazy it is. Let's go to 130. 135. Okay, this time I think I might need to use a... No, I was going to use a homeland, but I don't even need to. There's a homeland. Let's just break the game. Oh my goodness. Let's get rid of these farms so we don't get wrecked here. All right, this is crazy, but there's no way they can take on the big fortified bad, right? Not a chance. Just on his own. Just one tower. Let's use the laser gun and see if he can do it. I hope the answer is no, that he can't do it on his own. That is crazy. 
You know how much I struggle on this thing normally and this thing just says no, just one tower? You know what that means. We got to do it. We got to go big or go home, right? So we're going to go all the way up to the top path on this one. And for this one, we'll get the, and this one will go all the way in the bottom path. There we go. So now we have all the fifth tiers right here and we're going to get up to round 200. Let's see if we can take 200 on its own. 201 right there. We have our cool ability if we need it. Oh, no, no, no. DDTs are way too fast. Oh, I hate the DDTs. Okay, all that for nothing. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We have a million dollars. Let's upgrade to the Paragon. Oh, no. This is going to get crazy. Okay, round 200. Can we take it? It's literally... Whoa! It deleted. It's sending out DDTs to delete. No way. Okay. And then we can even bring in our buddy here too and like buff him up because this one's just crazy broken. Yes, look at this. Airships of Doom. Now we're taking on another fortified on round 202. Oh my gosh, what do we even do here? Okay, I guess we just keep going. I guess we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this guy to round 100 degree Paragon. So now he's just crazy, stupid broken. We're gonna out buff the other three. We can't fit all of them under my little village here, but I don't care because we don't only need that middle path to be wrecked by it because he's just crazy. And then we're going to do it. We're going to go to round 300, okay? So here's round 300. We're going to use our ability just because we can. We're going to use Homeland Defense, make sure those DDTs don't stop us. And we're doing it. We're literally stalling everything out. This thing is unstoppable. Which one of them is just straight freezing the DDTs? Or is the game just can't handle this awesomeness? All right, we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to bring up the purple race button, guys. We're just going to go for it, go crazy. We're going to go up to around 400 after we pop these other guys right here. I want to make sure that we can get through it. It looks like we might actually be struggling a bit. So I think what we should do here is get this guy in here too, if we can. Have him help out a bit. Don't die, don't die. You got this. Oh, we can go with this one? Okay, let's do that. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not losing. I think just a little help from our friends, nothing crazy. So I got the sniper, cripple snow, <laughs> cripple snow ab over here. The cripple sniper to help us out. And then we're gonna actually go with super brittle as well with this guy. And that, oh my God, is that range serious? Have I ever used this tower before? Was, how do we shred that thing open so fast? Is it the cripple moab sniper? Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that, but I don't care. We're gonna go for it. Oh, you know what it is? Because we haven't got to round 300 because I exited out. Okay, so let's go to round three. Oh, I went to round 600. Oh no, this is going to be the death of us. Okay, we got this though. We got this. We got this. We got this. Just hit buttons and stuff. We'll even use that button. I think we should be able to take them to be honest because we do have like the Cripple Moab Sniper and the Ice to help super brittle them out. So I'm kind of curious as what else we should do here because we're going to die. And it's going to be the Fortified Bads. I wish there was another way to combat these Bads. I just think it's not fair that you have to have so much damage because we're not going to be able to get that much damage, guys. It's going to get a little crazy. Give me some other abilities. What is this? I just have that one. Not like I can use anything at this point. Maybe I can first strike. All right, there we go. First strike. That, that definitely helped, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Let's just do this then. Why are we on round 19? Oh, I went too high. I'm <laughs> at 3,000. We went to round 3,000, team. There we go. That thing was a lot of fun and looked really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed that, then I'm pretty sure you'll like this video where we take a 202 glue gunner and beat a fortified Moab. How is it possible? You're going to have to see it and find out.